The Paraguano Refinery Complex Spanish, Centro de Refinación de Paraguano is a crude oil refinery complex in Venezuela. It is considered the world's third largest refinery complex, just after Jamnagar Refinery India and Ulsan Refinery South Korea. The Paraguano Refinery Complex was created by the fusion of Amue Refinery, Barjo Grande Refinery and Cardon Refinery. The Paraguana Refinery Complex is still the largest refinery in the Western Hemisphere. As of 2012, it refined 955,000 barrels per day 151,800 cubic meters, d. The complex is located in the Paraguanor Peninsula in Falcon State Amue and, Cardon refineries and the western coast of Lake Maracaibo in the Zulia State Barjo Grande refinery. The complex accounts for 71% of the refining capacity of Venezuela and it belongs to the state-owned company Petróleos de Venezuela PDVSA. History The Cardon refinery started operations in 1949 with capacity to refine 30,000 barrels per day 4, cubic meters d. It was owned by Royal Dutch Shell. It currently handles 305,000 barrels per day 48,500 cubic meters d. The Amue refinery was established by Creole Petroleum in 1950. It started having a capacity of 60,000 barrels per day 9, cubic meters d, and nowadays it can refine 645,000 barrels per day 102,500 cubic meters d. The Barjo Grande refinery, built in 1956 by Richmond now Chevron, has the capacity to refine 16,000 barrels per day 2,500 cubic meters, d. In 1997, a joint venture of Bok Gases and Foster Wheeler built a 50 million cubic feet per day 1.4 times 10 to the 6 cubic meters, d. hydrogen production facility next to the Amue refinery. This hydrogen facility was the largest in South America. Topic: Incidents. Since President Hugo Chavez fired 18,000 PDVSA employees and replaced them with avowed loyalists of his own party, PDVSA has suffered from a series of safety and productivity problems. In 2003, two workers were injured in an explosion at an electrical substation at the Amue refinery. In 2005, six accidents happened, including an explosion in November 2005, which killed five workers and injured 20. In 2006, five accidents happened which killed three and injured five workers. In the same year, the 54,000 barrel per day 8,600 cubic meters d catalytic reformer unit was temporarily shut down due to a fire in a furnace blew out in March 2011. A fire that broke out at the hydrodesulfurization unit 4 HD4 of Amue refinery. However, the fire was out shortly and the refinery continued operating. In 2012, a distillation unit of the Amue refinery was briefly stopped due to fire. In March 2012, the Cardon refinery was shut for eight hours due to air supply fault. Topic: 2012 explosion. On 25 August 2012 at 1 5.41 Greenwich Mean Time, an explosion caused by the ignition of a leaking gas at the Amue refinery killed 48 people, primarily National Guard troops stationed at the plant, and injured 151 others. A 10-year-old boy was among the dead. 
Three days of national mourning was declared by President Hugo Harvez. He also ordered a probe into the cause of the fire and told his cabinet by telephone that, "...this affects us all, the great Venezuelan family, civilian and military. It's very sad, very painful." According to PDVSA Vice President Eulogio del Pino a leak of propane and butane gas was detected an hour before the blast. However, the contingency plan was not implemented. No operating units were reported damaged by the blast but three storage tanks were burning. All three burning storage tanks were extinguished by the 28th of August 2012. In addition to the refinery, more than 1600 homes were damaged by the shockwave. President Harvez said he was creating a $23 million fund for cleanup operations and a replacement of destroyed homes. He said that 60 new homes were ready for affected families to move into, 60 more would be finished soon, and a further 137 houses would be handed over next month. He also rejected claims that PDVSA might be responsible for the disaster. According to President Harvez, the plan was to restart the facility by 31 August. Energy Minister Rafael Ramirez said that PDVSA had 10 days production stockpiled and production at other facilities could be increased, and there would be no major effects on oil exports. Pricing of gasoline futures in the United States increased by 3.15% due to the incident and threat of Hurricane Isaac. Venezuelan presidential candidate Henrique Capriles Radansky criticized PDVSA management for their poor safety record and forwarded lack of maintenance as a cause of the accident. President Harvez, who claimed that it was too early to identify the cause, as well as Minister Ramirez, said that Mr. Capriles doesn't know what he's talking about. However, the Secretary General of the United Federation of Oil Workers Ivan Freitz blamed the government for a lack of maintenance and investment in the oil industry and stated these as the main causes of the incident. He recalled that the union has complained since 2011 about problems with damaged equipment, lack of spare parts and other unsafe conditions. Locations See also List of oil refineries PDVSA Punto Fijo